come out right now and believe we can win the basketball game, all right? Believe in one another. One, two, three. Warriors! Believing in one another is the Musselman family motto. His wife, Wendy, six-year-old Michael, and two-year-old Matthew fill the off-court life of a busy head coach. Uh, every day it's something new with, with one of them. Uh, Matthew, the youngest one, is, is, is just now learning how to swim, and I don't think he quite understands that when you hit the water, you know, if you don't, un if you don't know how to swim, you might not come back up. <laughs> every day it's something with, with both kids. We're just going to hit baseball, sir. Oh, no. All right, here you go. Matthew, back here. Throw one to mom. Keep her involved in the game. I got the six-year-old Michael, and it's usually a sports-filled day when we have an off day. And uh, basketball, baseball, whatever he kind of feels like. You're going too fast. Yeah, you are. How about jogging? No, you don't need them. I don't know where they are. You go look. Come on, Matthew. The family, we... Uh, spend lunch together and then usually do some afternoon swimming or hiking a long walk something like that what do you want you want to play tennis no no you see basketball is a great metaphor for life so now you have this young family you're coming in your first nba job does the coaching actually help you with raising your children and in the family life i don't think there's any question uh, when you have to deal with 12 professional basketball players that range from the age of really 19 to say 35 years old, uh, you have to deal with a lot of different uh, personalities and you have to find different methods of motivating and different methods of building up confidence and, and different methods of discipline. And, and really what you do with kids is, is the kids actually prepare you for the players instead of the reverse. So uh, I, I don't think there's any question that any coach would probably say that some of the things he does with kids, same thing he does with his basketball team as far as discipline and such. You. On your marks, get set, go! Oh! You, you learn to turn it off and on. If, if you give your kids 15 to 20 minutes of totally undivided attention, that means the world to them. And if you can do that, you know, three or four times a day, that's a lot of time of quality time spent with your kids. And at night, I spend my time reading books, uh, telling stories before they go to bed. And, uh, and then when he comes home from school, when I get home, we always spend a little bit of time playing some type of sports. <laughs> want to go on the tire swing? All right. Wait, wait, I want my feet up here in case I have to hold on to Michael, too. Okay, ready? <laughs> oh, no! Now, with your wife, are you the, she's probably the head coach, you're the assistant. No question. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to ask that. I don't even know if I'm the assistant, I'm the equipment manager. 